Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The median valued home in Edina of $501,000 will see a monthly increase of just $6.20 per month in city property taxes in 2018. The City Council adopted the 2018 operating budget and tax levy earlier this month. The total of all levies increased by 5.8 percent. The budget allows the city to focus on the priorities of its biennial work plan, maintain assets and infrastructure, maintain service levels, provide for connected and sustainable development, and build an inclusive and engaged community. Our budget process for the 2018-19 budget uh, followed the process we've used the last few bienniums, which is to spend really a great deal of time with our elected officials up front to find out what their mission and vision is for the city uh, and then to uh, transform that mission and vision into uh, service levels and costs. And that's what we did and I think it was, uh, from the council's perspective, uh, pretty successful. The budget also provides for increases in street and bridge maintenance, capital improvement plan funding, and the city's focus on housing-related issues such as affordability, rental, and redevelopment concerns. The budget also includes funding for two new police officers and one public safety staff support position, money for the planning and implementation of the Southdale Circulator Transit Line, and continuation of the city's race and equity initiatives. The council also approved the 2019 budget. In 2018, staff and the city council will work to update the five-year capital improvement plan. Expansion will begin on the north parking ramp in downtown Edina the first week of January. The work being done by Adolphson and Peterson Construction is the first phase of a major redevelopment on Market Street that will add vitality and many amenities to the area. The ramp will be expanded over the former site of Hooten Launderers and Cleaners and Edina Realty. Also, as part of the $8.5 million project, an additional floor of parking will be added and new commercial space built on the ground floor. Following completion of the north ramp expansion, the center parking ramp will be replaced with three new structures that will contain apartments, ground floor commercial space, and below ground parking. So the retail landscape has changed quite a bit. Uh, what we hear, though, is that people that are, that are shopping and going someplace to shop don't just want a commodity, they want an experience. They want a positive experience, a social experience. Uh, 50th and France has been a great place to shop and dine for many, many years, um, but it's that experience that we think really needs to be enhanced. And that's fundamentally what this project does. New free valet parking options will be available to shoppers from January to September. Valet parking can be found at 50th and Halifax, as well as 50th and France. Hours are anticipated to be 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., six days a week, but may be adjusted based on actual demand. Two Edina High School students were recently recognized for their essays examining how discrimination affects women and girls in our country, state, and community today. Edina TV's Dawn Wills tells us more about the 2017 Human Rights Contest essay winners. 10th grader Maithili Iyer and 11th grader Eva Hagianis are typical high school students. But they have also been recognized by the city for their essays on how discrimination affects women. And the city of Edina and the Edina Human Rights and Relations Commission has gotten very involved in this issue. Um, one of the ways that we felt we could raise awareness was by having an essay competition. Since there were no entries in the adult level, the commission gave the two awards to the top junior essays. We were very eager to see the responses and we were particularly heartened by the level of thought that went into the applications. And these two winners have plenty of passion for the essay topic. I, that's why I highlighted my essay a lot about like sexual violence and like these hardships that women face because I thought like these are definitely issues that need to be known. 
the underlying theme of my essay is really about like changing the mindset of society and not just like using superficial rules to maintain equality, but actually changing the way people think. After being recognized for their essays, Ayers and Hagianis presented their writings to the city council. It was really scary. I've never really read my work out loud before, ever. When a child is born, much of their life has already been decided for them. But my family came, and then my best friend came, and it ended up being great. You see all these people, and they're so official, like the mayor and all the people in the city council, so it was really scary. We, as intelligent humans and servers of this world... But once I started reading, it was a lot more comfortable, and like I really appreciated why I wrote this, and I really truly understood like the effect it has on society. I'm so proud of you. Commissioner Kennedy hopes the essays can serve a bigger purpose for the Edina community. It's a way to say to these winners, you are the advocates, you are the activists. We know that going forward, you are going to be great supporters for human rights, not just for women and girls, but for everyone. And that truly was one of the purposes, to say to our community, people in Edina care about human rights, and we want to recognize those who are doing important work in that area. So, Diana, thank you. In Edina, Don Wells, Edina TV. The Human Rights and Relations Commission regularly holds a number of events that celebrate the goal of equity and human rights in both the city of Edina and the state of Minnesota. As 2017 draws to a close, we thank you for watching this and every episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty, wishing you a very happy new year.